Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the SD Legend BB Mark III Daishogun Gundam. So here we have the latest SD kit, and it's one of these Legend BB kits, which are not really to my personal taste, but some of them actually are right. I mean, I've had, uh, I guess from just the two that I've built, that uh, Knight Superior Dragon one that I reviewed was pretty cool, that uh, gold and red one, I actually like that one quite a bit. Uh, this one looks quite, quite interesting, it's very colorful, I'm not sure where the Mark III is coming in there, I don't know if it's related to the Mark III Gundam, it doesn't really look like any sort of SD version of the Mark III, it looks quite unique, I guess, but I know there's a lot of you guys out there who know a lot more about this SD stuff, especially like the story following like the games and different things like that, that I'm just not familiar with at all. So. I'll just go over just the actual unboxing and review of the kit, and you guys can, uh, I guess, fill each other in on the story down below in the comments. I know you guys are pretty good about uh, letting me know what's up with uh, this SD stuff. Uh, so, yeah, let me know. Anyway, uh, pretty cool box art. I mean, it's pretty standard here. You can see, like, the unarmored version. I know, like, you, when you take off all this extra stuff, you can make it look like uh, that one there. So we have a whole bunch of story here in English. If you want to pause the video and check that out, you can read that. Uh, it's a little bit of story there. This is number 403 in the BB Senshi line. Mark III Dai Shogun there. On this side, here we can see, I guess this is like the light armor type. You can see there, well, it's like basically nothing. Light armor type. The Mark III in armor and then the Mark III Dai Shogun. So it actually has three modes. Well, it actually has this one too here. What's this? The Rubao, the dragon horse phoenix form, okay, so it can basically, I guess, take all that armor and then it sort of like does a bit of a transformation here, or I guess just gets like horse legs, which are on the back of the kit, or no, they're on the back there, so I don't know what the, I don't know what's going on with that, but it has a whole lot of stuff here, you can see it's got all this stuff in Japanese and English, which is nice. The helmet is gold-plated, the phoenix of technique, uh, Kanhoken, it has, of course, all the different... Uh, BB Senshi style eyes, cute eyes, looking here and there, uh, Phoenix goggles, some pretty interesting stuff here, and then the action weapon gimmick, it has the single glaive, the Sansa no Yari, and a double haken, so yeah, there you go. Alright, going around here to the other side, I'm guessing that's just a little bit about the Gundam itself, Daishogun, uh, Dai can be transformed into the light armor type and the in armor and the Ryubao form. Uh, it, as shown in the photo, a colorful finish can be achieved by the simply assembling the cards. Okay, and then here's just showing again about that uh, transformation and the abundant gimmicks and parts, so like all these extra parts and things that you've got to work with. So. It's going to be quite a lot in here. We do have some plated parts. Looks like just the crest on the head. Everything else looks like just going to be molded gold. And all of that, 1800 yen for the price of this, so pretty expensive for an HG kit, but these Legend BB kits do tend to be a little bit more expensive because they often have uh, some plated parts or like pearl plastic or something like that. So uh, first thing though, right off the bat, it's nothing really too special, just white and black. Uh, here is our runner of molded gold, as well as a pretty cool jewel there, with those we don't see very often. Uh, a bunch of stickers there, as you would expect from an uh, SD kit. Uh, red, black. Here's our plated runner, in here by itself. Nice uh, kind of orange gold color there, very similar to the uh, Superior Knight. Uh, Knight, su Knight Superior Dragon, whatever, anyway. Uh, and then here, some more red, black, so quite a lot of stuff there. It's a lot of parts for an SD kit, but not a lot of small parts, of course. Uh, so here on the top, I think that's probably just the same text as on the outside of the box. Uh, no, that is actually different, I believe. Uh, so there you go, you can check that out if you want. Uh, same art that we saw on the front of the box here, and then just going around here to the back. Again, just showing off, uh, this is actually just illustrated, the different forms here rather than pictures of the model kit. So just illustrations of all of that. And then again here, just the one point technique of panel lining it up, just to help give that a much more defined look there. Uh, I guess this is the previous Mark III, this is the BB Senshi number 119, is the Gundam Mark III here. It's gonna look like that. 
this one I'd say is definitely looking a little bit nicer for sure and here we've got the comic so there you can see it's fighting there if you guys can read uh, hiragana you can at least read that anyway so we got our parts list here obviously probably gonna be using everything as it's a specially designed kit uh, so the construction is gonna be head torso uh, arms, legs, and that's it. You're by step seven. You're already done with the main mobile suit, and then it's just adding the in armor here. You can add that, uh, or here you're adding the Mark III Dai Shogun, adding all that armor stuff, and then let's see. That's all the backpack, and weapons, and stuff. And then here on the back is the transformation to the Ryubao uh, Dragon Horse Phoenix form. So, yeah. There's all of that stuff. That should be interesting. All right, let's get a look at the runners. All right, so first step here is that foil sticker sheet. Once again, as you would expect from an SD kit, there's quite a lot here. For the eyes, it's kind of interesting. We have two different versions of just the straight on looking eyes, just regular, and then these which have like some more dots in them. So like a little bit more kind of defined eyes, I guess. And then just your standard looking to the left, looking to the right. Some other kind of green stickers there, light blue, gold, 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 red with gold white with gold and just some plain silver ones there. Then we have this little sticker here which is this like jewel sticker that you're gonna put on the chest. It's kinda cool, it's like uh, red and blue there on the inside. Kinda very, obviously reminds me of Korea. But uh, that is gonna go there on the chest. PC303 here for some white polycaps and then we have PC7 as well for some more black polycaps for just the ball joint polycaps there. Alright, so the A runner is a pretty interesting one. So uh, here's runner A1. You can see it's half red, half black just uh, for some red and black parts. Then we have runner A2, which is, as you can see, they were connected like that. Runner A2 here is uh, red and black as well, with the addition of one clear green piece there, and then one white piece over on this side. Then we have runner A3, which is a copy of this section of the A runner, uh, which is just copies of this part, but then we also have the addition of one silver part there at the top. And then we have runner A4, which is a copy of this section of the A1 runner, like uh, this. There we go. So that is all the A runners. For runner B1 here, just a whole bunch of white armor parts, some parts for the backpack, and then just parts for the mobile suit, of course. Then we have a runner B2, which is a copy of this section of the runner here. Then we've got runner C1, which is a black runner, again, so a whole bunch of black parts here. And then C2, which is a copy of this top half of the runner there. So we got runner D1, and it's molded gold. I know how you guys uh, don't really like this molded gold because it's usually pretty ugly, but I gotta say, uh, as tends to happen with these Legend BB kits, I'm a little bit impressed because not only is this just molded gold, but it's actually plated, so it's like a high gloss. Uh, I guess not plated, but it's just like got a coat of uh, gloss on it. So it's really glossy as well, so I think that helps. I mean, uh, that molded gold color, you may not be into that, but at least it's like nice and shiny and glossy, so that's kind of cool anyway. Uh, and then we got runner D2, which is a copy of this section of the runner here. And then we have runner D3, which is on its own, which is our just gold-plated runner, so I'm guessing that was maybe just off this section here or something like that. So here is the plated gold for the crest on the head. Very nice, very shiny. The uh, nubs on that, the gates, are not going to be too bad. As you can see, it's just silver, and so they've just sprayed just the front with gold. So that's kind of disappointing. So like on the back of the V-Fin, it's just going to be silver like that. I mean, that's better than it just being like the black or just plain some other weird color or something, I guess. But kind of would have been nice if it would have given it that coating all the way around. But uh, it looks nice on the front, and the, the nub marks shouldn't be too bad on that, hopefully. So that is going to be it for unboxing the SD Legend BB Mark III Dai Shogun Gundam. Now, I know these, uh, or at least I think, I mean, I could be wrong, but these Legend BB kits, I think, are not really the most appealing for a lot of people. I know some people really love them, but I think generally these are probably, I mean, if people had to choose, like, the least appealing line of kits, I'd say Legend BB might be one of them, but I don't know. That could just be me. But, I mean... 
from my experience, they they tend to kind of surprise me, and I usually end up liking them more than I think that I would. So you guys should check out the review. I'll have that coming up for you guys next. Um, you may find yourself more interested than you thought. So thank you guys, as always, for watching. If you have questions, comments, leave those down below. And see you guys in the review. Bye-bye.